Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. So on this quick little video, I want to show you guys and lasses why I choose to carry some of this scapper tape over the normal loadout that most people carry, something like the Gorilla Tape. I'll show you the reasons why and the little trick at the end, which I think makes this more valuable. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So before we get into this, a quick sort of disclaimer, like everybody else, I do carry Gorilla Tape or something like that in my loadout. It's light, it's convenient, strong, durable, and it sticks well. So I'm not knocking any other brand. I'm just showing an opinion and something a little bit different, you might say. You've seen people no doubt use these for repairs and when you roll them up, light them with a cigarette lighter, you can use them as a fire extender. Well, scapper tape, in my opinion, is a better option because it's a cotton-based material. You can use it for lots of other things to include, in a pinch, a first aid dressing. I don't recommend that, but it's better than nothing, which I guess you could with that. Well, this is cotton-based, it's more lending itself to that. And there's one or two other uses that you can use this for which you struggle with with this namely because of its colour and the glossiness of it which we'll get to now stay with me okay so when you're doing a bit of admin you can rip a bit of tape off the old scapper tape and on your bergen or your rucksack when you've got messy loose flying ends everywhere obviously you don't want to get snarled up on anything and also, obviously not with this load out, it's brightly coloured. But if you was in a situation where you're hunting or for whatever reason you don't want to be seen, then you don't want straps flapping about. You know, it's, it's part of the 5S of concealment. So you can go ahead and just use a bit of your scapper tape and uh, secure your your webbing so it's out of sight and anything that's like these carabiners you know if this is a real situation obviously i wouldn't be using this brightly colored rucksack but i can go ahead and you know cover that in it and dull it down so you're not creating a reflect reflection or reflective uh, object obviously the other advantage with scapper tape whether it's in a first aid situation or just general admin is I can go ahead and write on this. I've only got a pencil with me at the moment, but with a Sharpie, it really does pop. So you can mark, you can write on it. It's a waterproof uh, material, so it will stay put. So you can put like on your bag, you know, where your first aid kit is located. Um, do you need any meds? Or in a casualty situation have any meds been given so you can put on somebody's clothing you know um, if you've administered morphine you put an m etc that type of thing in that sort of situation so you can write on it so it's good for communication you can leave notes if you have to for your mates on this um, if you've got no paper or anything else to hand you can go ahead and use your scapper tape Okay, so just quickly, another simple, easy use for your scapper is if you've got any items that are prone to rattling, making a noise, if you're hunting or, again, if you need to be, what shall we say, more stealthy, I won't say stealthy, but more quiet, then you can go ahead and use your scapper tape to secure loose rattly items, <laughs> other than the contents, minimising your you know your sound output again another one of the the five s's so it's multi-use item i really like it because like i say you can use it in a pinch as well for if you have to a temporary first aid dressing with it being cotton material you can go ahead and address any minor lacer lacerations or anything like that you know it gets the job done i guess Gorilla Tape or any other common manufacturers will do exactly the same as this, but there's one trick that Scapper Tape, in my opinion, has 
over the rest of them and I'll get back to you on that one I'll, I'll demonstrate that over by our fire pit that's why I like to carry this or some of this not the whole roll like I say it's a 50 metre roll so coil some off put it around something else in your kit you're good to go so as you can see I'm inside my Darwin 2 tent <clears throat> and I had a bit of a burn hole on the porch part so I've used three pieces in a cross shape of scapper and a big piece big patch over the two smaller ones and this has been exposed to quite a lot of rain and water and up to now it stayed dry it's not come through and it stayed on so you know as time goes on the longer you leave this stuff on the the more it seems to adhere it sticks like the proverbial to a blanket another good reason to have <clears throat> a bit of scapper in your loadout Good repair stuff top marks okay so I've brought you back by the fire pit for the final little snippet of this video and again we're going to take some more of our scapper <clears throat> and this time what we're going to do is a length of it like so we're going to start rolling it back on itself so sticky side out into a little tube little cigar don't have to be pretty for what we're doing like so so it's sticky side out bring on our little tin pop that fella in <clears throat> get him on the fire you can see where I'm going with this so unlike most plastic based tapes because it's cotton we can actually go ahead and char this we can make really good char cloth with this so that for me is the the best reason or one of the best reasons why I prefer carrying some scapper over this or as well as I'm not saying one is right and one is wrong I would never do that everybody's different but this is just in my opinion and from my experience I do carry this a part used roll that's where why it's up here I carry it in my kit but I like to carry some of this not the whole roll um, I bought the roll out just for a demo for this video you get 50 odd meters I believe at 50 mil wide can get it off eBay or military surplus stores you know it's still readily available <clears throat> and you can get it in the, the desert sand color or this like sort of light OD green and um, yeah we'll, uh, we'll see how it performs when it's cooked alrighty let's um, let's take our tin off the fire Obviously we're going to let that cool now. So as soon as that's absolutely cold to touch, we can go ahead, open it up and see what we've got. Welcome back, let's see what we've got. So the, the tin has gone completely, completely cold now. So a little hole in the top there, obviously, like with any charring tin. Let's see what we've got. So as you can see, the tape has formed really nice char cloth. So I'm gonna get a real rough ass piece of chert here. This isn't ideal equipment at all, but I like to train with poor equipment. That way, when I come to use good stuff, it's easy. Train hard, fight easy, right? Same with my striker, it's a poor quality striker, but we'll give it a go. And I've got a poor quality marginal bird's nest just down here on the mat. Let's see if we can't get this lit up. Nearly. Oh, we had it then. It was in and out. <laughs> We persevere. None of my sparks seem to land where I want them to. Okay. Yep, we're in. And that's no bad on the char cloth, that's purely down to poor prep on my pot. I don't know if it's picking up, but. 
we've got quite a nice cherry there. So we're going to add that into our marginal bird's nest now. <laughs> See if we can't blow it to flame. As you can see it's really damp. Crikey me, I'm chasing this. Yeah, I was a Here we go. We're calling that. Yeah, we get there in the end. Yeah, was a cracky me. That's that is damp, <laughs> marginal tinder. <laughs> Ooh, to say the least. But it shows it can be done. And that again, my excuses lined up. But there are reasons. They're not excuses. I'm using the real cheap Chinese, poor quality striker poor quality piece of chert a small ass tin but the char cloth itself is good it, it really does come out really nice and fibrous fluffy it takes a spark really well normally but um anyway that's why in closing why i like to carry some of this maybe as well as some of this so i hope you find this little video useful if not entertaining and until next time i'll leave you all in peace for now mad dog signing off yeah <coughs>